Yo, it's me, it's me, C S C O T T, baby! <coughs> and I'm here with a video for you. And this is my wrestling stuff, a wrestling video. My wrestling collection, part one. Here we go. Let's do this! We're gonna start with me drinking some tea because my throat. Now we're going to start with the booky stuff. Books, magazines, whatever. We got the insert book booklet from WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. This History of WrestleMania book, which I'm not sure where I got it from. It was in with the DVD. I'm not sure which one, <clears throat> but it was in there. I probably don't have it. And then this Attitude, it came on the Attitude Era. Attitude Era book. Best matches of the Attitude Era. This only goes up to WrestleMania 24, by the way. We got Pro Wrestling Illustrated Greatest of the Game. Going through here. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if one picture's in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, sir. Scouting Report, CM Punk, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, this one. There. Another one, his blonde days there. Another one there, you know. Another one. Why didn't I not put these? I should have these pictures on a wall or something, you know. He's my, he's my, he's my, you know. I'm a punk fan. Monday says there are too many of these. Jesus. And I think this is the last one. I'm just talking. Referee John Finnegan. And then we got Kevin Nash. That fits. That's that's actually kind of bullshit, but okay. This one I only have because a friend of mine gave it to me because it has Michael Jordan <clears throat> and Lex Luger, but I, from Michael Jordan, I'm a Michael Jordan fan, so that's cool. I had a bunch of other older ones. I have no idea where they are. I've looked everywhere. I cannot find them anywhere. <laughs> yeah. But I digress. I've looked everywhere. Boxes, bins, everything. Now I have some magazines, and from what I can think of, my friend gave me some of his magazines, which is what most of these are. I had some magazines I bought from the store, and, well, it resulted in some doubles. So we got Batista here, and we got another Batista. Then we got The Undertaker, and another Undertaker. Ronald Mysterious, John Chenna, another Ronald Mysterious, CM Punk, Rock the Dwayne Johnson, Randall, Randall Keith, Randall Keith, another Ronald Mysterious, a bunch of people, this is like one of the dead Royal Rumble covers, I think, CM Punk, Triple DH, Rock the Dwayne Johnson, Rock the Dwayne Johnson and John Chena, Randall, Randall Keith, Randall Keith, Rock the Dwayne Johnson, and we got Rock the Dwayne Johnson, CM Punk, and John Chena. And this this one I got after Randy Piper. Randy Piper? Roddy Piper passed away. Who the hell is Randy Piper? I know there was a wrestler named Randy Hogan. And yes, I'm serious. Look that up. <laughs> but <clears throat> this is Roddy Piper. I bought this after he passed away. Now he's yelling at me for hitting my son with face. I'm sorry! Alright. <clears throat> Down here. Alright, now we go to video games. Uh, and we got Dota 13. Um, story behind this is I don't have a PS3. Uh, I was planning on getting a PS3 like three years ago. Back when GameStop was still here in town. Never did. But my friend, he sold this to me. I don't know if I might have paid him like 10 bucks or something. I don't know. And he's like, oh, so when you have a PS3, you can play this game. Well, I tried to play it on his PS3. It wouldn't work. So I don't think this game works. But it's okay. Because <clears throat> I use it for display anyway. CM Punk. And you can not unlock Mike Tyson. Because he, you know. 
Go for the knockout every time. But yeah, I thought this was a cool game. We got 2K15 with John Chenna. 2K16 with a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Man, hold on. I'm ready to hold on. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? We have 2K17 with Bruh Runa. 2K18 with <laughs> Sans Ronin. And 2K19 with AJ Styles. I'm the coolest cat in the world. I think the world is flat. I have 2K20, but it's like a digital one, so. Son of a. Fine, fall down. Alright, so now we go to the shirts. Okay. So, we got. <laughs> Hanger. Not what I wanted to get right now. We have a shirt that represents today. And every day, because everyone knows every day is. Don't mess me, me. Every day is Rusev Day. I'm gonna put that here. I got a Ronda Rousey t shirt here. Adam Cole, baby. This is a Monday Night Raw shirt. Sting. Can I get it so you can see? There you go. Sting. This next shirt is glorious. Oh, I won't give in. I won't give in until I'm victorious. And now we're defend. There's no sleeves because there was a hole in the armpit, so I just made it a sleeveless shirt. CM Punk, which is probably the shirt I've worn the most out of all these. Uh, and we have <laughs> Seth Rollins. All right, let me put these somewhere else. We'll move on to the memorabilia part. All right. So we have, we'll start out with this, I guess. We have a John Cena hand, but you can't see it because it's, it's, you can't see it. We got the box for the 2K19 Woo edition, which I've re-unboxed on my channel. Look for that video. Along with that, we got the Ric Flair Funko Pop, which is also in the unboxing. Then we have some other, three more Funko Pops. We have Brock Reznor Funko Pop there. Of course, we got the CM Punk. Funko Pop, a, a Punko Pop, a Punko Pop, if you will. I'll just say Punko Pop. <laughs> we got one more, and of course, in the words of JR, or actually Vince McMahon, that's gotta be Kane! It was JR in the video game, but it, and, and it's the Kane I like, the uh, Aggression Era Kane, 2002, 2003, before he took off the mask, so that's cool. We got this WWF Attitude Bear with Rock the Dwayne Johnson. Pretty cool. I got this from a friend of mine. We got a bobblehead of the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre has a challenge laid out. Does what? Hulk Hogan, I challenge you to a championship match in the WrestleMania. Put you back here. I don't want to lay you on the floor. Okay, <clears throat> we got the empty bottle of the tap out spray, John Chen on it. I'm stupid. I never got this stuff again. <coughs> okay, someone's still sprayed out. <laughs> we got the Ric Flair plaque from the Woo edition. There. We got a Rock the Dwayne Johnson Pez disp dispenser. Is it? Uh, there's an Undertaker one. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a little friend. It's a little friend who wants to say hello. It's Mr. Sacco! Oh, Mr. Sacco wants to say hello! Oh, Mr. Sacco! <clears throat> it's not hello.
And then, uh, this one, hold on. <laughs> These are dusty, they've been sitting up there on the shelf. There we go. Now you too can be Rosna with these gloves that say Lesnar, even though he doesn't have gloves that say Lesnar, but this came in one of the Lesnar DVDs. Rock Rosna. <laughs> I'm alive. Okay, let's take these off. Hands are a little bit big for this. Just a little bit. All right. Now, we got these open up. First of all, there's two little figures. I'm not going to do my wrestling figures in it. Might be another video altogether. Uh, but these two little ones here were on my shelf. So, that's The Rock. Or, no. Randy Orton. In the Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. The Rock. And this one is also on there, and that's Flexi Lexi Lex Luger, who's supposed to vibrate, I guess, but it doesn't work, thank God, because I don't want a vibrating Lex Luger. I don't like it when my Luger vibrates. Oh, I have one more thing here. And that's a Dean Ambrose or John Moxley little metal dude. There. Alright. This Huh? Right. Jack Swagger or Jake Hager, as he's now known. These are <coughs> this thing. Okay. These are uh, poker chips that I've collected somewhere in there. This is a big one here. There's The Undertaker on one side and Edge on the other. We got Eve Torres, doesn't even look like her, but I'm not I'm trying to do it so there's light. There we go. Jillian, we all love her singing, right? Shantina Morena. Come on, Shantina Ah, Finley. The man who loves to fight. Le Champion, Chris Jericho. Someone's gonna get their groin stitched. It's Mark Henry. I almost thought it was Vemma Kazape. It's Matt Stryker, your teacher. Batista. Okay, this one I have two of, so let's turn them both up. Elijah Burke, ECW there. Kung Funaki, if you guys remember that. It says Kung Funaki. That's back to 2008, Kung Funaki. Ochipolicha, the Gima. Chuck Palumbo. What is this one? This is just, says, Mr. Kennedy Mic Check. He's giving a mic check to... Umanga! CM Punk, go to sleep. There's that. Another edge. On this day. The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. John Morrison. The Undertaker. Mr. 24-7 himself, R-Truth. The greatest superstar to ever live, Kurt Hawkins. I can't even say it with a straight face. Oh! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And we ended, of course, with CM Punk. My arm I'm tired. Then. All right, now we're going to move on to the championship belts. And I have two up here, one you've already seen, but one I want to talk about here. 
This one I'm going to talk about. It's not a wrestling belt, but... It's the UFC championship belt. I got this from a Kmart before it went out. My grandma worked there. And I saw it. They had a Pride Fighting Championship too, but I never went back to get it. Well, I did. But when I got there, they didn't have it anymore. So, and they were on the way out. Came out was, so there's a UFC belt. How am I going to put all these? I'm standing over here, I guess. And this one you've seen in my, if you watched my um, Marie unboxing video for the Ric Flair Woo edition of 2K19, there's the World Heavyweight title there. My favorite design. All right. Now, let's see. We'll start with this one, which is sort of amalgamation. It's the World Heavyweight title strap with the WWE title uh, front plate. And I just made it the hardcore title because, I don't know, it's an old one. I just kind of put it together with duct tape. It doesn't even come apart for some reason. I don't know. It's stuck together. I don't know. But, yeah, it's like a hardcore title belt. This is the first one there. We have the, my favorite version of the Intercontinental title. There. We have the SmackDown Tag Team title that I've turned into a 24-7 championship. Which, twice now, I've stopped taking track of. It happens when you use stuffed animals instead of, I don't have very many people come over anymore. We have the WWE Championship from 2013. Before it. Fused together. We have the not current, but the previous version of the year kind of title. This one. We have the United States Championship. We have the uh, Universal title, the red one. I don't like the blue one because they changed it. I like the black strap. And they changed it to red. And it looks like a diva's t a women's title. Sorry, pardon me that. The WWE Championship, which I've tried to use a Sharpie to make a black strap. Because there was a time AJ Styles, when he had the title, it was black. And then they changed it back to red. I like the black stripe. Man, I, it's, I'm, it's, it's, I'm sweating in here. It's warm. We have a title I can never hold. And that's the Cruiserweight title. I got it. And I called it the Blubberweight title. It's for anyone over... 250 pounds. So, <laughs> blubber right here. You say. You can actually, in the current games like 2K19, you can make a blubberweight division with fat people. I'm just saying. The current NXT championship. Yes, sir. The former NXT championship, the earlier version. Which I sort of like this version better. It's it, it, it it's like different than regular looking titles. This one, the new one, kind of makes it just melt in with the other titles. You know what I mean? So we're getting to some older Taylor territory here. Yeah, the WWE Tag Team titles. This thing's been through a lot, cracked and stuff. We have the ECW Championship from back in two thousand and eight. Yes, sir. been taped I had to I've taped it so many times that I had to use flex tape to keep it together. Not to have flex tape. My favorite WWE championship design, that's a world championship, this one. The undisputed WWE championship or as it was called when I was first started watching WWE. The WWE championship. The championship that Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle all both held like Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar Big Show, you know, the SmackDown title. I was a SmackDown guy when I first started watching because this title, Superstars of Ronda, Kurt Angle, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Rey Mysterio, you know, Edge, even though he switched to Raw shortly after, but I'm just saying. We have this, another Intercontinental title belt, which has X's on it for some reason. I don't know what I was doing. We have, what is this one? Oh, it's a, it's okay. It's the WWF World Tag Team title. I turned it into an NWA World Heavyweight title because NWA on there, I, mean, man, I don't know. It's a tag team title and I made it a world title because I'm stupid. Oh, another one I made. I, I had two World Heavyweight Championships. 
And I turned this one into the TNA X Division title. Because I was bored one night. Okay. We got the WWE Spinner Belt. There. The classic WWE Championship. What's this one? We have, oh. Rugrats, watch that's the main part. We have, I have my first uh, United States Championship that broke. I kept it. I <laughs> put that one there. I don't know. I don't know. And we have this one. This was a gift from my grandma. Okay, it's supposed to make noise, but I don't know if I want to do the noise thing because I don't want any copyright. It's Hornswoggle! Stop. I don't want to get copyright. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm done. Undertaker! I don't want to get copyright, but I probably am now. But yeah, this was a Christmas tree for my grandmother, and I won't give it away. It's cool. It makes it still makes the sound, and I got this how many years ago? What does it say on there? 2010. Holy crap, 10 years. And it still makes the sound, it works. The batteries aren't messed up or anything. Wow. Anything? I do have one more thing, hold on. One more thing. Not the Terminator, hold on. This is what I was talking about. I uh, got this in the Brock Lesnar DVD along with the gloves, these gloves. It's uh. It's a, rest, it's a ring sample from WrestleMania 32 against Dean Ambrose, where he whipped Dean Ambrose's ass. There. It's pretty cool. It's autographed and everything. It says right there, Brock Lesnar. Uh, yeah, so this has been part one of what I'm hoping will be a three-part thing. Because this, um, figures, DVDs, and Blu-rays. Um, so, yeah. Uh... What else to say? Like, share, and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.